Precision and grace on ice. That's figure skating. 26 girls represent 13 countries in the women's division. First come three days of compulsory figures. They count 60%. In each of the four figures, the cuts in the ice must, as nearly as humanly possible, overlay one another. The connecting circles must be perfect circles. Gradually, the champions emerge. At the end of the third day, Carol Heiss of the United States is leading the world. One final test, freestyle skating. This counts 40%. Alone on the ice, leading the 29 others, Carol shows clearly why she is acclaimed the finest artist on the ice today. When she was only 16 years old, Carol won a silver medal in 1956 at Cortina. No doubt about it. The judges know, the audience knows, and now Carol Heiss knows. Perhaps she always did. Barbara Rose, USA, is excellent, but third. Suki Dykstra of Holland is great, but second. Between competitions, there's free time to spend in practicing for more competitions. And sometimes these practice sessions are beautiful performances in themselves. Thirteen teams from seven countries entered the pairs figure skating event. All scoring is based on one five-minute freestyle skating demonstration. Russia's man and wife team, the Zhuks, America's Luddingtons, and Germany's Kilius and Baumler all dazzled the audience with sensational exhibitions of skill and showmanship. First place is a foregone conclusion. The contest is really for second and third. Against this high-powered field, Barbara Wagner and Bob Paul of Canada took to the ice to show what everyone knew already, that they are the finest pair of artists in the world. medals for Canada, silver for Germany, bronze for the United States. While Grecian was outrunning nearly everybody on the speed oval, David Jenkins of the U.S. was dazzling 9,000 spectators inside Blythe Arena with as fiery an exhibition of figure skating as has ever been seen. Only three days ago, the crowds had been treated to Carol Heiss. And four days before that, the artistry of Wagner and Paul. Surely their near perfection could not be improved on. But figure skating championships run in the Jenkins family. Dave won a bronze medal at Cortina in 1956, while his brother Hayes won the gold. Thank you. 
Few skaters even try these things that David does in freestyle. Carol Dieven of Czechoslovakia in the compulsory figures. But at the end of the freestyle, the audience roared its approval of the judges' scores. Three five nines, an unprecedented perfect six, a five eight and four more five nines. The slight medical student brings home America's second gold medal. Dieven is second and Donald Jackson, Canada, third. Willie Bogner, on the 11th day, the games end, and there is sadness, for it has been a good 11 days. But there is a good feeling, too, for the competition has been hard, clean, and satisfying. New friendships have been created, and our better natures have been illuminated by the warming fire of the flame in the snow. The urn at the valley is cold now, but the flame burns still. And wherever it burns, and for as long as it burns, it lights the way.